Aquatic Clean. Brought to you by Michael Viciero and Jonathan Fernandez. Our app is called Aquatic Clean. It basically helps you test water for chlorine levels or bacteria levels. You use an attachment available by wire or Bluetooth. This special spike shaped attachment is covered with a seal to prevent water from coming in. This seal is special and can keep water out while still being able to detect chlorine or bacteria. The spike is sold separately and packaged comes with multiple seals in case one breaks. Our app is useful for people who are pool cleaners or owners and people who may need to know if their water is safe to drink. It is also useful for people exploring the outdoors. And on the left, you can see a model of the phone, what the screen would look like. The app in development. We had many ideas, but ended up with Aquatic Clean. First, we were thinking of an acid tester for identifying chemicals in water. Then we thought of a chlorine tester for pools. So we combined the ideas and made an app that tests chlorine and bacteria. And we have a rough sketch on the right of the app menu and the attachments. The art by Michael. Who the app helps, who the problem affects. So basically anybody that has anything to do with water. So if you're a pool cleaner or a pool owner, it affects you. If you work at a water plant, it affects you. If you're out in the wilderness and need a drink, it affects you. You know, if you're Zephyr Hill, if you're Zephyr Hills or one of those big brands, it also affects you. You will know if the problem is solved by a certain process. After cleaning the water or adding chlorine, go to the specific menu, bacteria chlorine, then you select recheck. The app will boot up the extension and regularly check and then give the rating. If the chlorine levels are moderate or the water is clean, then the app has done its job correctly. Input, output, and storage. All right, this is a mouthful. Aquatically, it takes inputs such as pressing a button. For example, if you were to press bacteria, it would take the input, process the information, store it, and then set the attachment to begin searching for unclean spots in the water. Once it finds bacteria, it sends the output to the screen. It will show if the water is dirty or not. The way it processes, stores, and outputs information is as it follows. The app takes the input, which is a button press, and processes whether you pick bacteria or chlorine mode. The app stores this information and sends it to the attachment. When the attachment receives this mode, it then searches for what, whether you inputted whether it's bacteria or chlorine levels. Once it finds what it's looking for, it sends the information back to the screen, showing you the rating. Once the information is sent to the screen, that's the output. The end. Thank you for listening to our PowerPoint. Yep.